I guess one of the most repeated questions that I keep getting is how do I learn to decode? A question I definitely asked just a few months ago, so it really doesn't take that long to learn this, but you do have to be diligent. You have to take a lot of notes. In fact, I would encourage you to pause this episode right now and go get some paper and some pencils and take notes. Pause as many times as you need to to catch up because that's the best way to learn. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of pages of notes and it's turned into all kinds of folders and it's just, it's just getting crazy. So, but that's, uh, I mean, that's how you learn. But it may not take you as much as it does me, but, you know, I'm an INTJ and I do things to the extreme, so I have to understand the entire spider web of how everything connects to everything. That's just my personality. doesn't mean that it is yours. So you may catch on a lot quicker, and I have discovered some other people that apparently have. So anyway, the first thing that you want to do is that you want to learn that letters are numbers and numbers are letters. This goes way back hundreds to thousands of years. It was not always the case in the English language. The English language is a conglomerate primarily of German, uh, German base mixed with Scandinavian, mixed with um, a lot of French. So it did not become gematriated until somewhere between the mid 1500s to the early 1600s when it was intentionally transformed into words that were paired by Masonic orders, by the way, paired with numbers. So um, people around the time of King James, and the King James Bible, and William Shakespeare lived at the same time. It was probably not any other than Francis Bacon and so forth. They had a lot to do with this. Well, what's the proof that our language now has a numeric value system? Now well, let's go through and we'll start with that. Adam and man, I mean, that, that's pretty basic, right? It's like page one on Zach's book, Zach Hubbard's book that, and by the way, he's the one that I learned Gematria from. Gematria Effect News originally. I also learned Gematria from uh, Chikozi Truths on YouTube, from Marty Leeds, who uses mostly the Septenary, I guess he uses only the Septenary Cipher. Uh, but that's, you know, that's the way he thinks. I don't necessarily agree. I, I have seen tons of evidence, as you're going to see here. I'm not even using the Septenary Cipher in, in, in anything today, even though I used it extensively earlier. Um, definitely every cipher has its place as being used by orders today. So Adam and man, God is one because he was the first, so it makes sense that Adam the first man is the reflection of that one and zero. Woman was made from man's rib. Now the rule of Colel, which states that you can add one to the value of a number that does not change the meaning in Gematria, and that came from a Freemasonic website, shows that when you have woman and rib and are only one apart, that it means the same thing. Women are often paired with the moon, and Saturn is also uh, the same as the moon number 69 and 21 okay so you have the vesica pisces and the fish which is the symbol of a woman okay uh, all related here you've also seen in movies how they tend to want to murder a virgin you know um, vampires always come after the virgin look at the 83 and the 38 these are the primary numbers for murder in the board, uh, the, the I'm sorry, the poster for the Murder by Number movies, they changed the B and the E into eight and three, and this is why. Okay, um, and you see how much it pairs with with that, and this is the reason they use this code, and this is the this is where that thinking came from. Okay, it's crazy, but it's true. 
Now, witch and sister, look how similar. These are degrees within pentagrams, of course. And Muhammad's name is all about the pentagram. Just like a witch is all about the pentagram. So it makes you think, well, are they pretty much worshiping the same thing? <laughs> look at a broom, you know. Broom and witch are the same, isn't that crazy? Mason and broom. You know, you add, this is still Kolel because it's not 17 or 18. It's also, you know, you add 1 to 1 and it becomes a 2. So 17 and 2, or in this case, you know, 2 and 1, 70, 72, 73, you see. All these numbers are very, very obvious. They're, they're the same thing. Mason, Broom, Mohammed, Witch. <laughs> they're all talking about the pentagram. Now, the Masons are all about the number 216. When you join the third degree of Masonry, which is called the Master Mason level, you repeat this phrase called, I guess, I don't know how you pronounce it, Mahabani Elu of Nine, and it matches, yep. by the way, I didn't tell you, you can mirror a number just as well. That's where the concept of mirroring comes, the demons hide in mirrors and that sort of thing. Well, 78 switched around is, is 87. Okay, so these, these match up very well. And these are the cube worshippers, okay? So 216 is about the cube. And here's why. If you add up all the 90 degree angles of a cube, it equals 2160. So in other words, there's 90 here, 90 here, 90 here, 90 here, that's 360, and then there's six sides of the cube, so six faces times 360 degrees is 2,160. So the Masons and the Kabbalists, Kabbalists meaning cube, are all about the number 216, and lo and behold, they match the gametria as well. And of course, that's why they say that the moon is 2,160 miles wide. Isn't that interesting that Freemasonry and cube worship are a perfect matchup? <laughs> now this part over here is pretty interesting too. The 39 that we talk about so often, that's the holy number. I, someone told me today at the Thelemus that are all about the number 93, the reflection of this. Instead of saying hello, they welcome each other with the number 93. I don't know how they do that. <laughs> hello, Mr. 93. Hello, Mrs. 93. I don't, I don't know how that goes, but <laughs> it's very interesting, you see. This is a holy number. That's why you see 39 books in the Old Testament. 3 times 9 is 27, and that's why you see 27 books in the New Testament. You see, the sun is said to be 93 million miles from the earth. The sun is a reflection of God. So there's 39 books in the Old Testament, and 93 is a picture of coming to God. So it's 93 million miles to the sun. But obviously, they made that number up. <laughs> okay. Um, and if you don't believe that the Bible compares the sun to God, well, of course it does. Read the book of Malachi. The book of Malachi says very plainly, Talking about Jesus as a prophecy, then shall the healer, or then shall he come with healing in his wings. The Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Then shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And the Son there is spelled S U N. Interesting, isn't it? Then 47 here. 47 is the the number of government. Didn't uh, type those out, but we use that all the time. I mean, so you got government. Zach has a campaign. This is what is 47, and this is why. Okay, so this is this is a big Freemasonry number. Look at government is 47 and 39, right? Well, look at um, Republican 47, like Democrat. That's how you know they're all on the same team. Democrat is 47, you know, Foundation, 47, I think White House might be, maybe, yeah, White House is 47, a whole lot of government numbers related to 47. 
So it's not surprising that Freemasonry lines up perfectly in four ciphers and very close in septenary as well. And they don't have to line up in the same ciphers. Okay, so death is 38 and 83, murder is 38 and 83, well death is 38, yeah. but they're not in the same cipher. You have 79 for murder, well death, which is obviously a related concept, is 97, the reflection of 79. Now, this is how they think of their celebrities. They're mind-slaved, and they're mind-numbed, okay? Or androids, which sums up with it. Um, very, very similar. 99, 99, 54, 54, 54, 144, 144, 45, 45. So the re the best people they pick for celebrity roles are those that don't ask questions. But, and I think that's probably the best way to become an actor is not to have to think much for yourself, but to accept any role. And that's how most of us live. Us, we're, we're completely given into that celebrity culture so that our mind is completely gone. I mean, look at music and idiocy. Music literally means to think, but in our culture, you know, the muse is to think about, but in our culture, it's just a complete idiocy. And of course, the Freemasons and the Kabbalists, they capitalize on that idea. So they take their celebrity mind slaves, their mind-numbed androids, and they... You know, turn it into something that keeps you from thinking. Remember, 83 and 38 were our murder numbers. Bernie Sanders is 83, like the French Revolution, where they beheaded 60,000 people, I think it was. And at the time, they called the early communists of the French Revolution levelers. Interesting. Simple words like this just prove to you that our... That the one that the rule of Kolel holds, because look at cold and hate, they're exactly the same in all four ciphers, and warm and love is only off by one. Well, obviously they're related concepts in the same way that cold and hate are related concepts, and love and warm are related concepts, so we know that the rule of Kolel is true. They're only one off, you see. Even in math, if you type out 22 divided by 7, you get 314, 3.14 is of course pi. 22 divided by 7 is 3.14. And here it sums in the English ordinal cipher to 314. Pretty amazing concept, wouldn't you say? One small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind, 223, the skull and bones number. American is apple pie, skull and bones in Philadelphia, our country's first capital. Skull and bones, backward. <laughs> and there's a whole lot more 322s we could put out there. Avengers just had a movie called Endgame, and I noticed that uh, the gematria for it was pretty close to the license plate on Back to the Future on the DeLorean. You see 49, just trace the line, see not the same ciphers, but 49 and 49, 104 and 140, 31 and 32. You see in 32 and 32. Even this, if you change the 2 to a 3, it's another way of applying the rule of Kalel. Now, and, and keep in mind, if you think they're just stretching or whatever, remember this is about patterns, about creating a mental matrix for your mind. It is not about measuring um, boards for a house and they have to fit together perfectly. This is about patterns. Okay? It's about rituals. So the numbers are not the same as in mathematics. Now, kill and space oddly go together. 44 and 17. 28. And of course, space is a dead zone. The word geometry sums to 108. The moon is said to be have a, di a radius of 1,080 miles. You see there's 108 uh, Earths that fit across the diameter of the moon, if these numbers are to be believed, at some point you start to question whether or not those numbers are to be believed. Because there's also 108 sun widths from the sun to the earth, and 108 moon widths from the earth to the sun. All those are true? Really? And all the interior 
correct sphere angles of the pentagram rather are 108 degrees here and here and here and here and here. <laughs> All that's true. You know? I know the angles of the pentagram are, but what, what about all the rest of that stuff? Some obvious things that go together, you know, Italian and Caesar. Obviously, Ohio and Buckeye go together, 117. If you watch Chagosi Truth, he does a lot with this Ohio number. In fact, it's, I learned that from him, 117. Our favorite restaurants... Dairy Queen and Burger King have the two emergency numbers. Dial 911 or you can dial 112 to get the emergency number. Isn't that interesting that it's on your fast food? <laughs> McDonald's 85 and Burger King the Reflection 58. Both are 158 like the word Freemasonry. Which is 158. So, let's see, no, I had more. So now you should have a pretty good idea that your, your language definitely is gematriated. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It has a long history. But not only in English, but it also goes back to Greek and Hebrew, in which words were not separate from numbers. Words and numbers were the same thing in those days. That's why if you open up your Greek Bible, which I took a Greek class in college, and you take it to Revelations chapter 13, verse 18, where it talks about the 603 score and 6 in English, in the Greek, it is that entire number is only three Greek letters, you see, because letters are numbers. So three Greek letters equal that number, 666. Now, so you might want to know how to decode. So you first thing you're going to want to do is you, you want to use Derek's calculator. Go to gematronator.com. Okay. You open up the calculator, and these the first four ciphers will appear automatically. Sometimes this Jewish cipher comes in handy. Sometimes it doesn't. You can decide if you want to use that. I strongly recommend that you use this septenary cipher because this is the Bible cipher based on the seven days of the week in Genesis chapter 1. Now a cipher is simply a method for coding letters with numbers. In the English ordinal cipher, you see that it's the most instinctive cipher, and many low-level masons talk about it, and it's talked about in the book of um, Manly P. Hall, which I bought um, Secret Doctrines... I can't remember the exact title, but I heard Zach talk about it. He said he learned it from Manly P. Hall, and so I decided that I would learn it uh, some more from his books as well. Now, in it, you can see that A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, all the way to Z equals 26. It's pretty pretty instinctive, just, just common sense. A lot of low-level masons are familiar with this cipher as was Manly P. Hall. Now, uh, this one is simply the same cipher, only backwards. Okay. Instead of A equals 1, you got Z equals 1. And it just works its way backwards. This cipher is simply going the same as this cipher, forward, A through Z. Okay. But when you get to 10, Instead of having two digits, you begin to add both digits to, together. That's called reduction. It comes from the rules that are contained in numerology. And all you do is you just add those numbers together. So 10 is 1 plus 0 is 1. So J equals 1. K would be 11, but instead you take the 11 and you go 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay? So now you see how you follow all the way at follow that out, just adding the two numbers together out to Z. Reverse, of course, does the same thing as the reverse ordinal, only it reduces every number from 10 on up. And the septenary cipher is based on the seven days of the week and is seen in movies repeatedly and is extremely important to the uh, 
the ritual murders, the ritual killings, and there's a lot of things you cannot see without the septenary cipher. It's very, very important. Probably the most important um, of all the ciphers, in my opinion, because it's definitely not only seen in movies, and very, very well understood by the elite, but the Las Vegas shooting, the riots from Lucasville that um, just made a video about today. I had to use Facebook Live because um, YouTube wasn't letting me live stream <laughs> uh, because of the strike or whatever. So, um, so definitely septenary cipher is very, very important. Now, how do you how do we apply this? Well, you don't have to dig for information. It's not real hard usually. For instance, right now, I'm probably going to make a video on this tomorrow or something. I'm, I'm looking at the I-35 bridge collapse, which happened on August 1st. So you just Google it up on Wikipedia. Wikipedia very intentionally puts the gematriated information out there so that the right people can see it. So what it does is it takes news clips that are gematriated, and you can use, you can use news clips too. We do it all the time. Any of the major news networks will be strongly gematriated in their construction. But all Wikipedia is about is taking temporary news stories and making permanent news articles that contain the gematria. And this is very obvious. You see, August 1st, we're looking out for a day about August 10. And this is the same numbers, 8-1 or 8-1-0. Zeros mean nothing in gematria. So you drop to zero and it's August 10. Well, August 10 is the, the day we're looking out for for a possible bridge collapse, possibly the Golden Gate Bridge. Let me see. And Golden Gate Bridge sums to I-30, or sums to 135, kind of like I-35 that goes across the Mississippi River, and like the 30, Route 35 that goes across um, the Silver Bridge that collapsed back in 1967, a month after this bridge was built. You see? And what are the chances of that, right? And US 35 goes across the Silver Bridge. That's the Bridge of Mothman fame, you see. And you always check these coordinates because they're always pretty important. 44, and what did we say about 93 a little bit ago? You know, that's the holy number, right? But the, the Lima people greet each other with, apparently, according to some one person's comment. And 44 is kill, you know. Kill equals 44 and 17. So it's not hard to see that this was a, you know, a ritual, ritual event, you know. Ritual 81, and where was the 27? I already forgot. I saw it earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, it was in the day game, bro. Yeah, see, there's the bridge collapse. And there, oh, yeah. And this is the other thing I meant to tell you. Okay, that's why I have this up. Always check the Lunar Eclipse catalog. Um, you can, Moon Blink is a good one that I've been using a lot. Because just about every ritual killing is done by some sort of syncing with the lunar eclipse. Sometimes also the solar eclipse. But I almost always find a pair up with the lunar eclipse. So from the most recent the lunar eclipse after the bridge collapse on 8-1 was 8-28. 27 days. And the word ritual equals 27 and 81, you see. It was 27 days on August 1st. Not a coincidence, folks. So check check your lunar eclipses. Compare your dates, which is also on gamatronator.com. Okay. Go to the date durations calculator. And then most importantly, take tons and tons of notes. I'm well, I'm talking very slow because this is meant to be a beginner video. Someone asked me about it today, and I said, you know, I was kind of thinking about this stuff, so I just wanted to make a good beginner video to, to teach people how to get started. Um, never sit down and watch a video without being willing to hit that pause button and write things down, because unless you're some kind of a genius, you're not going to remember it all. <laughs> and then it's like starting over every time if you don't take notes, because you don't have anything to compare it to, and so your knowledge never compounds and builds. But when you have notes, you can compare everything, and you, eventually you're going to start 
being so full of knowledge you want to scream it out and so you'll start your own videos and it's probably a good idea because heaven only knows how many of our videos are going to take out over time so it'd be good for for other people to, to be there hmm lifespan of the bridge let's see <laughs> See, you just always discover new things. Because look, it, yeah, we said it was at 44 degrees north, like kill. And then the silver bridge. The silver bridge lasted 39 years, the reflection of 93, or 14,444 days. You see, it's the same thing. And if I didn't have notes, I wouldn't have seen that. I just literally just looked down right after telling you to, to make sure you keep notes. And I saw that and remembered what we just talked about. You see, so... <laughs> Is this, that's why it's so important to take notes and organize them. I've got them organized in folders now. First, the very first thing I did was I just started punching in everything I could think of into the Gematronator calculator and seeing what they equal and writing them down. And then every time I would listen to Chikosi or to Zach or whoever, I would just add, you know, I, like on my first page, just the first things I did, you know, I just wrote like 1 through 50 and then just every time I heard somebody say this number equals this, I would just write it under there. Those were the first notes I took. And then I started getting topical and started putting entire topics in the folders, you see. So that's, this is how you get started. And I hope that uh, gives you a good boost. Um, you'll see that there's a lot of people who don't get it, but what I've noticed is that people who are mentally lazy are the ones that don't want to, that don't get it because it's not going to jump in your lap. You have to take the time to, to compare, to pay attention. Otherwise, it's just not going to work for you. You know, uh, the better your notes, the better you're going to understand it. So, thanks for watching, and um, please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notice of new videos. It's always a good thing too. Later.